people how are we doing uh, how are we doing doing mm. I feel like I got I started talking and my mouth just felt extra wet I don't know what the, that was all about oh it's so quiet without the fish tank pump on I'm wondering if I was gonna say I wonder if I should leave the light off because um, because the filter um, because the filter is not working so I'll have to make so that way like algae and stuff doesn't whatever um So, I feel like my weekend's gonna take a turn for the worst. I have still to edit the vlog. I need to edit at least one of those videos. I have one more I wanna do. But do you guys remember me talking about the um, hubby's friend who had the trailer so we could take to the dump? The trailer has arrived. That's not a part of my plans for the weekend. So, um, and I feel like hubby's going to want to get shit done and I have other shit to do and I didn't add that into it. So, I have a funny feeling it's going to go downhill. Do I have another coffee creamer? I do. So. Because <clears throat> when you guys know how, so like with me, um, I know I've probably mentioned this before. I mentally plan my day in my head. Cause that's why I'm always like, well, what are we going to do? Da, da, da. I can't, I'm not like a spur of the moment type person. Never been like not, not at all. I never been like, I have to, I had to plan. I'm not sporadic. I'm not spontaneous, you know, like I have to get ready. Oh, hold on. Ew. Hubby's walking in. What is up, good people? Love you. I love you too, Brayden. He's not camera ready, so I'm trying to like block that out. Making my second cup of coffee fee. Ugh. I had, I think, did I tell you guys yesterday? I told somebody. Maybe it was my members. I had an idea for my vlogs that, um, I'm going to use the vape, one of hubby's old vapes, and I'm going to use that to create like a smoke effect for like the uh, pictures and stuff. So that's what I was like trying to do um, in the video. I just tried to record it, but now my mouth tastes like disgusting. Um, believe it or not, I used to vape a long time ago. Kelly. I used to vape a long time ago with um, like zero nicotine. Uh, I guess when vaping started, um, hubby had, we had these really cute, like really cool vape pens and they were like zero nicotine. I don't trust, okay, he's just sitting down so he should be okay. Um, Hubby had got me these really cool vape pens. They were like dragons and and um whatever. And like I said, I would do I remember one flavor was watermelon and one was like a mint, like a really good spearmint that I used to like. But like I didn't like vape for like 
whatever. I just like the taste and I thought it would help me with sweet cravings and um, because anything that would help me like try to curb that was, you know, good in my book. So, and I saw like one of my girlfriends had told me that she said her girlfriend had got one and it helped her with her sweet cravings in her journey of weight loss. And she said that she would get like the sweet treat ones and then she would get that taste in her mouth, but she would get like the craving taken care of without having the, um, whatchamacall. But I just, I did it for a while, but when they first came out, like there wasn't that many vape shops and we didn't really know much and, you know, hubby was doing you know his thing or whatever but yeah so i just i was like i'm not really i didn't i got kind of lost interest in it so there's that i didn't i just genuinely lost interest Why is coffee so fucking delicious? All right. Got the vlog edited and download. downloaded. It's uploading now to YouTube. I need to make a thumbnail. I need to work on a few things. And yeah, so... It is that time, folks, for this week's weekly reading. Time for this week's weekly reading. I got a little chilly, so I threw my little hoodie on. Um, I'm going to read this really quick. I just got done. My vlog went up late. I forgot to, I went to, I was making the thumbnail and I was getting stuff done and trying to clean up and get some other things done that I had to get done. And so I'm like doing stuff or whatever. And then um, I went to go put my, go publish. Cause I was like, oh, my vlog's gotta be done uploaded by now. Cause I was specifically watching videos so it would publish. And I went to go put my thumbnail on and there was no vlog in my YouTube studio. And I'm like, where's the vlog? And so I kept refreshing and refreshing. I didn't upload it. I was like, fuck. So I had to go, I had to upload it, and I had to wait for it to upload. My mind has been everywhere because I was trying to get my 420 videos up. So um, that is uploading now on my cake channel. So I need to, actually, I'm going to check that really quick to see if it's done. Um, it's still processing. All right, so I'm gonna do this because we're just, oh, that is so gorgeous, so gorgeous. All right, so today is the 20th, happy 420, and it is the drum festival today. So we are in waxing moon, the moon phase is the second quarter, today's color is gray, which I do have on. To, the moon sign is Virgo, but it switches to Libra at 11.08 a.m. So at the time of recording this, we are already in Libra, and the incense today is pine. Tomorrow is a Brazilian holiday. I am not going to try to pronounce it. And the color is gold, moon sign, of course, Libra. Incense is almond. Monday, Passover begins at sundown. It is Earth Day on Monday. Oh, I should do some Earth Day stuff. That'll be fun. Um, we are in the second quarter of the moon phase. The color is silver. The incense is hyacinth, not hyacinth, 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 hyacinth. Tuesday is St. George's Day. It is an English holiday. We have a full moon, folks, at 7.49 p.m. Tuesday, the color is black. The moon will enter Scorpio at 11.20 a.m. And the incense is ginger. There we go. 
Wednesday, it is St. Mark's Eve. The moon phase is entering its third quarter. The color will be white and the incense is lavender. Thursday, it is Rob Bengolia. It is a Roman holiday. The color is green. Oh, I finally get a green. Okay. The moon will enter Sagittarius at 9.37 p.m. And the incense is jasmine. Friday is Arbor Day. It is pink. The color is pink. And the incense is cypress. Next Saturday is Freedom Day. It is a South African holiday. The color will be brown and the incense will be sage. And then next Sunday, we uh, it's another Roman holiday. The color will be amber and the moon will enter Capricorn at 5.37 a.m. with the incense being frankincense. So that's next week, which I will probably reread again anyway. <gasps> oh, I got a boo-boo on my eye. I got like a little cut and I was messing with it and it hurts. Okay, so my agenda. I got one video edited. I have one more video I need to edit for my cake channel. I have one more video to record. So I think I'm going to record first as long as I have one video up, <clears throat> which it should be uploading now. So it will be uploading. Um, and then what am I going to do? Let me check it again because it should be processing pretty well okay yep we're good to go so i'm gonna go publish this and all that good stuff i'm gonna do it right now as i'm recording public raise bakes is live i need to go share it oh it's limited limited visibility it's it's adds something what's wrong with it due to content identified as not suitable for most advertisers because it's 420 that's why i should have said i didn't care about what whatever all right guys so on that note i'm gonna go i love you guys i will see you all later what's up friends <laughs> um it's eight o'clock i have not vlogged today like that much um, I've been busy, so I have been in the cake corner creating masterpieces. And, um, oh, do I still have that vape? So th I think I showed you guys this is the vape um, The hubby let me use. It's non-nicotine, but I wasn't, like, inhaling, and I was just going, like, <laughs> it's not, it's, I don't know what the center taste is. It's like a caramel. And I was just like, I wonder though, if every time if I get the urge to want to snack or graze, I could just. I don't want to inhale though, because I don't want my insides to get gross. <laughs> um, but yeah, so hubby and wifey went grocery shopping um, I just got done cleaning up. I just got done cleaning the cake corner. I want to do Earth Day cookies. Monday is actually Earth Day. But I think I need a stencil. If I had time to learn my freaking Cricut, I could cut my own world stencil. But I don't. Rude. <laughs> so yeah, I want to make Earth Day cookies, but I might do them... Monday maybe when I get home from work because I don't I I say I don't ex like plan on doing something like wild and crazy but and then by the time I get done and edit it and upload it Earth Day will be over so if I have time tomorrow I'll do them tomorrow so all right let me do this sad 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 Walmart haul hubby was like pissed because he's like I didn't get anything for my lunches he's like they didn't have shit. I was like, I know. And their produce fucking sucks. Like, I want, I'm like, I'm on this grapefruit kick. <clears throat> and it's been terrible. So, all right. Let me show you what they got. All right. So I said snacks for the boy. So they just got the uh, classic variety pack. Did you call me? No. Okay. Hubby string cheese, which the big mouth already got into. 
Wifey's half and half. My pepperoni, because Brayden ate the rest of it. Um, Brayden's pancakes, sausage, and breakfast stuff for his breakfasties. Um, protein powder and Pepsi. That's Wifey's Pepsi. Um, laundry detergent. And then this is the brand I'm always talking about. If you ever want to know what I smell like, it's this shit. I have spray bottles with just this and water in it. And I spray it around the house. Like my own like fabric refresher. I am obsessed with the way this shit smells. Obsessed. Do you hear me? Favorite, most favorite. So if you want to know what my laundry smells like, it's this. Because this is all, we always get the free and clear brand of stuff. But this is amazing. Wifey found these. She's already tore into these. Um, it's a Frick Crunch. And it's a strawberry streusel. Strudel. And they taste alright. They're pretty good. She gave me a bite. Um, Colby Jack. Pepper Jack. And mozzarella milk. My Pepsis. Bread. Bread. I guess this is my bread. Our bread. I guess hubby wanted. He loves a good ciabatta roll. And then they found some bagel thins, but they're not the keto ones. And more eggs because hubby eats hard boiled eggs every day. And then, as you see, I make like a lot of eggy meals. And other than hubby soda, that's it. So I need to go put this stuff away. And then um, I'm going to clean out the fridge with some of the leftover meals and stuff. And so I'm not cooking dinner because we're going to get dinner. We have last time we went bowling, we got tickets for like free dinners and stuff like that we were doing a trivia night and we got them we got the answers right so i'm gonna go get ready and um yeah so i'm gonna go do that i'll see y'all later all right beautiful people i'm uh pretty much ready to go i just need to throw my jacket on i just threw this on and i just want to be comfortable we're going bowling and it's gonna be dark so but I had to put some happiness on my face. So. Today's color is gray, so I did wear this as well. So, all right, guys, I'll see you all at the fair lanes. It's rock and bowl time at the fair lanes. So it wasn't really as busy. Um, that's what we like about this uh, bowling alley. It's like a little place, a little hole in the wall. I love their like psychedelic, trippy like pictures that they have going on on the screens and i love how like the lanes change like all the pretty rainbow colors there i am i'm in second and brayden went first then me and we just like legitimately had a good time this was like the first round and we were just getting warmed up because we hadn't been bowling in a while and i absolutely love bowling but yeah so we haven't been in a while so we were just getting warmed up there was wifey She's up there doing her thing. And then she forgot she had three turns and not two. So, you know how it goes. But, yeah, we were having a really good time. And then there goes Hubby. And he's getting ready to bowl. Woo! We thought he was good. He throws the ball. So, I don't know if all bowling alleys do this. But there's, like, a sensor, like, a miles per hour. He was throwing the balls, like, 15 miles an hour. I'm like, what are you doing? And I made the comment. I said, see, hubby needs to go bowling more often because he's getting all his freaking aggression out. And this is so cute. Oh, my gosh. It's like a little kitty cat, and it brings your food to you. It's like programmed to go to whatever lane. And it brings your food. It's so cute. Please tap my face. You can first after picking up your dishes. Thank you. Just robbed of my first win. <laughs> I got almost a whole strike and one pin was left. I came up and stopped and took my whole thing away. So I was robbed. I would have won. Poor shit. I had to take my win back. So I just got a strike. The first game, the first round of the second game, I got a strike. What? What? The bowling alley robbed me of the game last game. 
Y'all, I am not even kidding. The bowling alley robbed me of my game, ma. I had like one pin left. I had got nine pins in my first freaking throw. And then it said, stop the game. And this like warning came up on the screen and I was going to throw it. And Hubby's like, no, 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 don't throw it. The thing came down, wiped all the pins out, reset, and I had to go all over again. I was so mad, but it's okay. Cause we still had fun. We were having a freaking blast. That was my favorite pattern that's on the screen, by the way. It was like the hearts and stuff. Oh my God. We were dancing and acting so silly. It was so much fun. There goes, I swear to God, I was like, you're going to throw your freaking shoulder out throwing them balls. I said, watch, your arm's going to be so damn sore. I said, it's not a throwing competition. I said, what is that game with the like medicine ball that you throw up? And he was like cracking up. He was getting like so serious. I'm like, dude. And Brandon saw his dad throwing them like that, so he started throwing them like that. I said, what are you doing? I was like, don't... Oh, my goodness, Gracia. Oh, my goodness. That's crazy. But, yeah. So, this is just us playing, having a good time, doing the rock and ball. It's from 10 p.m. to 12 a.m., and so we got three full games in and we quit at like, I think it was like 1150, but we were able to get three full games in. So that was good. Oh, I was so mad right there. I was like, damn it. <laughs> so yeah, there goes wifey again. She like got, so, she's just, I don't know. <laughs> and then here is a 45 minute time lapse of us playing the entire third game in 20 some seconds. But yeah, we were off to the side dancing and stuff and having fun, but I hope you enjoyed our little bowling family night out. It was a blast. Back to the vlog. What is up good people? We are home. It's uh, 1230. Uh, we just got home maybe like 10, 15 minutes ago. I had to pee so bad. I did not want to use the bathrooms at the bowling alley did not want to did not want to do that did not want to go there um it was a fun time it was so much fun i was so mad that the bowling alley ripped my win off i would have run won the first round but they they ripped me off they jacked my win the second round it was all pretty close i mean i was able to kept, keep up with everybody but what well, was funny because i was able to keep up the second round and then hubby had a sucky second round but then he ended up getting good in the third round and i started losing steam and wifey ended up gaining excuse you um excuse me down in front uh, hello <laughs> just walk all over my shit rude but yeah so um i've been trying to take my calcium remember to take it but yeah so um i feel like i did pretty good i was doing pretty good like i said up until the last game i started losing steam and then wifey started get gaining steam and hubby was gaining steam brayden was losing steam it was funny but me and brayden started off super strong and then kind of started losing gas but i was also dancing and acting like a fool and y'all know now my knees hurt <laughs> my knees hurt man i'm blushing oh my god um I mean, I started dancing, and it was funny because hubby was like, his wifey was trying to dance, and he's like, you cannot dance. <laughs> and then I, I was like, I have a little bit of rhythm, at least. And then we started making fun of wifey, and then started doing um, the wifey dance. <sighs> People were looking at us, but I didn't care because we were having fun and cutting up letting loose and like i said it doesn't matter that i didn't win i got one strike though um 
we were trash talking, but I was pumping everybody up. I was just trash talking wifey. <laughs> I was trash talking her, but no, we were, um, we were pumping everybody up and hyping everybody up. But it was fun. I had a great time. Because like I said, I've been asking to go bowling forever. So. It was a good time. I got a whole, or a whole last game I did on time lapse. A whole 45 minute game. And, um. In 29 seconds, 26 seconds, something like that. I'm like, ain't that some shit? That's how my videos be like, take me like eight hours and it'll be like a three minute video. Be eight hours to make cookies or something like when I did those Amber Lint. Well, no, they took a little bit longer. Those were eight hours. I think that was like a 15 minute video, but I did add clips of Amber Lint so people knew the history of each piece. So... Which I need to get those edited here shortly. But yeah. <sighs> Sorry, I just started staring at my face and my pores. But yeah, that was fun. I was happy we got to go bowling because. Like I said, I have been asking for a hot minute since the last time we went bowling, which I don't even remember when that was. So, fun stuff. Fun, fun stuff. So, I'm going to sit and relax for a few minutes. I want to try to get the other two um, videos from my cake channel edited real quick. And then, um, probably call it a night, maybe. Maybe I'll do some would you rathers. I don't know. We'll see how I feel. So, we'll see. I'm going to eat me a protein bar because I'm a little snacky which I shouldn't be I had uh, two pieces of pizza but it was like the whole time we were there so I was noshing on it in between game like in between turns so I'd take a bite and when I got back and I would chew and every time I had a turn I'd come back and take a bite so all right I'm going to go. We'll see you after bed. The life of a fireman's wife. It is currently... What time is it? One something? It's uh, 1.30 in the morning. Okay? I'm sitting down here. I'm editing my raised bake stuff for my cake channel. Next thing I know, I hear... Woo! And fire trucks are flying down the road. Hubby laid down. Wifey was in bed. I heard his feet hit that floor. I heard his closet open and all I hear is dick, 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 dick. and he's like, come on, wifey, if you come in, let's go. Because wifey is also a volunteer firefighter. Anyway, so they go running out the door. There was a huge house fire down the street. And there it was all kinds of um siren or engines and like at least three or four were like flying by the cats are going fucking crazy crazy insane literally flying out the fucking door there's still more engines gonna uh probably come and what's crazy there is a part of town um called essex it's, I mean, it's a ways away. Like, it's like, I don't know, a good 30, nah, well, not 30 minutes. Yeah, probably a good 30 or so minutes away, Essex, because it's down by the water. Um, They had a whole complex explode today, like a whole house. It was a house explosion, probably natural gas, and it wiped, up, wiped out all these other houses, and flames could be seen over a mile away. Because the firefighters, hubby and wife are in this like group me firefighter chat or something like that. And they were posting pictures. The fire, like firemen, it's like the whole county and city and stuff like that. So it's crazy. It's crazy to like the shit that happens that does not make the news or anything like that is crazy to me. 
And the stuff that pu- the public doesn't even know about, but the firefighters and things like that know, like just things in people's city. Like, uh, I don't know what I can say and what I can't. Just know <clears throat> there's secret hiding spots in most towns and most cities where they hide weapons and where they hide explosives that could take out shit. Why? Because they don't want you to know. They don't want public to know. They don't want the public to go snoop in and shit like that. But the reason why emergency personnel know about this because if something was to happen and it was to explode or it was to have an issue, the fire department is fully aware. So, and it's just, it, it can't just be our state or our county or city. It can't be. Like, mm. It's very interesting, very interesting to say the least. There is um, one place, I'm not going to say where, um, but there is this one place and I used to go walking there. It's like a, it's a park. I've been there before. I've actually vlogged there before, um, but there's this place I've been to and I know that there hiding and um there's like um a hidden police training place back in this area i mean if you go back there you know there's like a sign um but most people are like whatever it just says police training restricted keep out yada 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 but i also know that back there is um stuff there's stuff and it's crazy. Like I said, I ain't gonna say where, but I know it's not just my city. It's everybody's city. And like, even not just that, but like the shit that happens. I get the fire calls on my phone because I'm part of Hubby's subscription plan. And I used to be a volunteer firefighter. I used to help. Well, not, okay. Let me rephrase that. I didn't go running into the fires. I didn't ride the fire engines. The only time I was in any type of apparatus was during the Santa runs and like when Santa comes around on the um, fire engines. Um, I was only on those and um, that's the only time I was in those and like for parades and stuff and I would like blow the horn and everything while hubby drove. Um, so I, that's the only time I had ever been in apparatuses, but because we're like volunteer stations, we depend on the community's donations to like run the station. So I used to help with fundraising, flea markets, thing like things like that and help the community. I used to help with the, uh, well, definitely the flea markets. I always help with the flea markets, but I did like holiday bazaars and like hubby did car shows and things like that and we would do like a fill the boot and they would always have like an empty fireman's boot and you would put change in it or money to get that goes towards the fire station and you would the whole purpose would be to fill it up to help you know donation blah 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 but yeah so but this is the shit that happens you get a call and they're out the door and you sometimes have to worry oh also last year um Last year, or in, around April, when I had my spring break, if you go back to my vlogs, we had a huge forest fire down the road from me. Like, it was, I could see the flames. I could see, like, it was right there. And then me and wifey, the next day, the next day, we went to the fireplace, because, um, to the, to the, um, to the, to the, where the fire basically where the fucking fire was and we walked because you could walk through there were so many people walking through there and we took photos and pictures and um my girlfriend or hubby's friend sent us drone footage of it and we have videos of the helicopter collecting water out of the reservoir or something back there so and out of pools and stuff so that was really cool um, but those were last year's vlogs around April. So if you wanted to go back and look, you guys can go back that far. 
Um, but yeah, that was last year. It was like a forest fire because I was also doing my diet and doing all that. But that was crazy. It was it was wild. Like to just stand on my front porch and see flames and smoke and stuff. It was it was crazy and freaking out. But the fire was moving the other way and not towards up this way. So because and hubby was like dead in the center of it. Like he was he was in it. So it was crazy. I put the news story in there and everything. But that was last year. That was last April. It was a year ago. And um, two uh, autistic kids, um, teenagers, two autistic teenagers said it. They were mad at their mom. So they said the burn 800 acres, I think it was, they said. It was 800 acres. So, but we were worried about the power lines because that's where the power strips go. They're like the big power towers or whatever wild we have a floor report <laughs> i'm sacrificing my finger look at the eyes <laughs> And then these guys over here. Mm. Callie, what are they doing? She is all cranked up. Nixie, what are you doing? You psycho. Nixie. Oh, here she goes. She's going to get me. Sacrificing the finger. Oh my gosh. Where, where did he go? Oh, he busted. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Kelly, did she scare you? Oh gosh, here comes Callie now. She gets the little butt wiggle. <laughs> she loves the tube. this one at five below because we needed a new one so today's floor report the cats are cranked up because the windows window kitchen window is open and it is 45 degrees at 220 yes this is 220 a.m Okay, so, ooh, wifey shared some of her trail mix with me, and it was quite delicious. So, I am going, excuse me, to burp, to burp, I'm going to boat, I'm going to boat. Um, I've been terrible. Ever since I ate that pizza, I have been, Jesus Christ, I have been so super swollen and um i have been really tired
tired as a rock. So I think I'm going to go to bed now. I have all my raised bake stuff done. I need to make a drink of water. I think we only have one water bottle left, regular. So I'll save that for Brayden. But um, I need to dump this out. This is what I take to work. I just took it out of my bag um, and sat it on the table. But I'm gonna rinse this out and save it for tomorrow, for Monday. I need to wash it because I also have my protein shake cup in here. But have no fear. Because there's plenty here. So I'm going to I wash them out really good too, so there's that. So I look at it like this, even though it's 220 here, it's still 420 elsewhere. So I'm good on getting that video out. So I still made it in some 420 time zone. All right, so I just made my water. I'm gonna take this up for the night. And yeah, so I got everything done, everything's scheduled. Oh, I need to put the cat's bowls in the sink so that way they can have a delicious, yummy breakfast and clean bowls. I didn't do the dishes on last night. So I had to wash their bowls by hand this morning instead of just like a rinse and a wipe. Like I had to scrub them this morning. So, but on that note, my friends, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And as always, please be kind because you don't know what kind of battle someone's going through. So don't be a dick. I love you guys all oh so oh so oh so oh so very much. Thanks for hanging out with me today. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye. Oh.